as a financial advisor, you likely are sacrificing credibility if you don't understand the cost credibility matrix. In a moment, I'll show how to underwrite your way into high credibility and how to make sure that you're growing your practice in the best possible manner. This is The Rare Advisor, proud to be a part of the Advisor Advancement Network and home of a business model supercharged by recurring and repeatable events. Your host is Mike Walters, CEO of USA Financial. He is an investment advisor representative of and securities are offered through USA Financial Securities, member of FINRA SIPC, a registered investment advisor. Hey, welcome back to The Rare Advisor. Once again, I'm going to dig deep into a tried and true chain of secret topic. Specifically, many, many advisors give up their credibility because they're overly concerned about cost. Or maybe a better way to say that is, many advisors don't understand the cost credibility matrix or the fact that cost and credibility are attached at the hip. They go together hand in glove. You really need to assess, especially in the world of marketing, in the world of advertising, in the world of lead gen, you definitely need to assess where are you falling on the cost credibility grid? So if you've been through a chain of secrets uh, with USA Financial before, you've seen our chain of secrets fast track, uh, our, our one page little snapshot that's just a quick reminder of numerous different chain of secret type items, right? Because there's no one silver bullet, but there is a chain of secrets in order to have a successful financial practice. All I'm doing is I'm blowing out the one subject here about cost credibility. So think of this as, as a grid, right? Just four placements. You can make this super simple. You can get it super sophisticated, but we're gonna keep it really simple today. What I wanna do is I wanna put credibility going north and south, and then I wanna put costs going east and west. So right, all I'm doing is I'm creating this grid so that I've got credibility at the top half of the page uh, in terms of high credibility, I should say. I've got low credibility at the bottom half of the page. And then cost, I'm going to the right uh, with high cost, to the left with low cost. Now, the first thing is, under no circumstances ever should you be in a low credibility environment, right? So, billboards, high cost, probably fairly low credibility. Valpac, low cost, pretty low credibility, right? So I can have low cost items that are not good for my credibility. I can have high cost items that are not necessarily good for my credibility, right? <clears throat> but most specifically, let's get up into high credibility. What a lot of people don't realize is you virtually always need to start with high cost, high credibility. You can buy yourself credibility by positioning yourself in the right place. And by doing so, you will create credibility that ultimately will lead you to the other coveted corner, which is high credibility, low cost. But to get there, you most likely are going to have to go through the high cost, high credibility doorway. So let's think in terms of like public events. If you run public seminars, uh, events for the public to attend, to learn things about you, to learn things about subject matter, to get access to them as prospects, generally speaking, high cost, high credibility. Because again, it's not cheap to fill an event room, to feed people, to pay for the facility and all these other things. However, when you're at that podium, generally speaking, if you're speaking in front of a crowd, people will associate that with high credibility. So it might have been expensive to get you at that podium, but once you're there, the credibility is pretty powerful. Now, if I've been running public events for years on my own dime, educating the public, becoming a, a, a steadfast part of the community where people understand and, and are aware that this goes on, all of a sudden, I start getting invited onto radio shows. I start getting invited to other people's events where I'm a guest speaker. I don't have to pay for either one of those things. Maybe ultimately I'm getting onto podcasts and things that's, or maybe I'm creating my own podcast. Uh, again, maybe it's, you know, a little, lot, quite a bit cheaper, but the credibility is still there. So I can get to that high credibility, low cost quadrant. 
But to do that, I had to make a name for myself in the world of credibility. And generally speaking, I had to do that in the high cost, high credibility quadrant first. So keep in mind, I want to stay out of low credibility. I don't care if it's low cost, it's low credibility. Stay away from it. If it's high cost and low credibility, well, that's the worst of everything. Definitely stay away from that. I want to always be in the high credibility two quadrants. I'm going to start most likely having to underwrite that credibility, which puts me in the high cost, high credibility area. And by the way, keep in mind, cost is a function of both dollars and your time and energy. If it drains a lot of time and energy, that's still high cost, even if financially it was a low expense. High cost is time, energy, effort, as well as, obviously, the expense or the financial piece. So I want to work my way through high cost, high credibility. That's what eventually is going to get me to the promised land of high credibility, low cost. This information is for licensed financial professionals only and is not intended for use in soliciting sales from the public. The views expressed represent the opinions of the presenter or their featured guest, not necessarily those of USA Financial or its affiliated subsidiaries. Industry references are generic and not intended to represent actions or beliefs of any individual or entity. Content is only presented to illustrate general principles, beliefs, or ideas and should not be construed as legal or regulatory advice. Trademark and copyright protected. USA Financial and Affiliates.